right, hello. It's been a while, I know. I'm back. I'm ready to do some more videos. And instead of just uploading a video, announcing that I'm gonna be making videos again, I'm just gonna do it. So today, we're here with a video um, about the new plushies, which I'm sure everyone has heard of by now. The FNAF AR plushies, which uh, I've got them all right here in this uh, little um, project. And I'm going to be explaining why there are four recolors of the originals. So if you don't know, these are the four common plushies that are in the new wave. System Error Toy Bonnie, VR Toy Freddy, uh, High Score Toy Chica, and uh, Radioactive Foxy. And then at Hot Topic, there are exclusives for each of them that are all recolors. Um, which have been getting a lot of hate. A lot of people hate these, that these exist. They're like, oh, I have to buy a whole other set of them. They're barely different. Um, and then you've also got these exclusives, but we're not talking about them today. Uh, we are only talking about these eight plushies. So um, there's a reason why we're doing this in um, Medibang, which is my art program that I use to draw. Um, so I'm gonna be explaining that in a second. So basically, these plushies, these, these are the Hot Topic recolors, and these are called inverted. And if you don't know, inverted, uh, usually when you have a color scheme, inverted usually means that you have taken the original colors and flipped them so that all the colors are now the opposite colors on the color wheel. So, um, if you, but the thing is, these are not inverted. So if you have the original plushies, which are right here, and you flipped all their colors to be the opposite colors on the color wheel, it would look like this. And obviously this is not what the Hot Topic plushies look like. This is not inverted. Well, this is inverted, but uh, this is not. So I'm going to be explaining why these look like this and why they have these color schemes. And I'll tell you right now, they actually are inverted and it's very weird but I will be showing you so let's get into that okay so I'm going to be showing you how all these recolors are inverted from the originals now some people might have already caught on to this and they might understand what it means but if you don't understand then please watch this because I had a big eureka moment when I realized what these mean and why these recolors exist and I think it makes them a little bit cooler so let's go over to VR Toy Freddy right here so on the left, we have VR Toy Freddy. On the right, we have the Hot Topic exclusive VR Toy Freddy. So you can see that this VR Toy Freddy is dark purple with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of pink. And then this one is fully pink, some yellow and not very much purple. So right off the bat, you might have caught that I named all the same colors on both of them. And that's right, they have the exact same colors. So what we're going to do here is we are going to take the eyedropper tool. So if I just right click on a color, it uh, eye drops it. So basically, I right click, I got the color. And now over here, it grabbed the color. I'm just going to draw a circle. Now let's grab the pink. Okay. Now let's grab the yellow. Um, let's grab a better yellow. I grabbed a too bright of a pixel. And now let's grab the dark purple, which is almost black. Looks like that. So that is his color scheme. All right, so now on the other Freddy, let's grab all the same colors in the same order. So first here we grabbed the dark purple, which was in his stomach. So let's grab this one's stomach. Right there, we've got yellow. Now let's grab, uh, so right here we have a brighter purple, which was his body and his hat. So let's grab uh, his body, okay? Now, it's, uh, that, that pixel wasn't very good. Let's do this one. All right, so we got pink. Now, let's grab, so on here we grab pink, which was the, which was the highlights, which was his nose, his uh, little, uh, whatever you call this, whisker dots. You've got the smile and the rim of the VR. So on this one, let's grab the rim of the VR, dark purple. And now the final color was yellow, which was the inside of his visor. So we'll grab that here. And what do you know, it's bright purple. So obviously right here, we have the same color schemes. Now it's a little bit different. This shade of pink is a little bit different from that shade of pink. This shade of purple is a little bit different from that shade of purple and you know, and so on and so forth, but it's the same. And so what I'm trying to say is that these two have the same color schemes, but where the colors are put is inverted. 
And I think that's very interesting. So let's let's look at it a little more closely. So if this color's main, this Freddy's main color is purple, and in this in this Freddy he has a very little bit of purple, but in this Freddy he has a very little bit of pink, but in this Freddy he has a lot of pink. You're getting what I'm saying? It's swapped. The the main colors from this Freddy are now the secondary colors of this Freddy. And the main colors of this Freddy are now the highlight colors of this Freddy. Very, very interesting. Now we are at Toxic Foxy. This one is even more apparent. This one is very, very interesting. So let's grab Toxic Foxy's colors. First, his main skin color, green. Next, he's got a dark green as the highlights. And then he's got a yellow as the kind of the rims. Like even, I guess those were the highlights. The dark green was like just his secondary green color. Um, and then we've got black uh, for eye patch and the emptiness of his eye. Then we've got red. So this part is very interesting. We've got red as the outer circle of his eye, but then we've got yellow as the inner circle. Okay, so right there, we've got these colors for Freddy, or I mean for Foxy. Let's leave him like that. And now let's go to this Foxy. So first on this one, we grabbed his uh, main skin tone. So right here, we'll grab that, it's yellow. Then we grabbed his secondary color, uh, which was his ears and his nose, which is dark green. Uh, so now we'll do that. And here it is kind of a whitish color. Um, and now we grabbed the yellow, which was his hook color. We'll grab that. What do you know? Green. Um, then we got the black. The black stays the same. Uh, we have the now we have the eyes. So the outer ring of the eye this time is light yellow, and the inner ring is red. So I think the most easy easiest part to notice on here is the eyes. In this one, his eye is outer ring red, inner ring yellow. On the other one is outer ring yellow, inner ring uh, red. Um, so yeah. You can see where I'm going with this. Now, obviously there are a few things that don't add up. Um, for example, this this Foxy has a, kind of a weird brownish color. Uh, he also has this br these brown pants, where this Foxy, the dark green was just his pants and this. So there are a few differences um, that don't completely add up, but I know for a fact that this is what they meant to do, because if you look at him, this Foxy is green with yellow hook. Um, this Foxy is yellow with green hook. Same with the nose, um, the eyes are switched. It's very obvious to me that this is what they meant to do. Um, and I think that's very cool. Now, this one is even more obvious. Let's do it with System Era Toy Bonnie. So we'll grab his skin tone. Let's, do, let's actually do them at the same time. So we'll grab System Era Toy Bonnie's skin tone. We'll grab this Bonnie's skin tone. We'll grab this Bonnie's nose color. And we'll grab this Bonnie's nose color. Um, we'll grab this Bonnie's inner ear color. We'll bring this Bonnie's inner ear color. We'll bring this Bonnie's, uh, let me zoom in to get the yellow. We want the yellow uh, outline that he has all around his body. And then this one, we will grab the dark red outline. Um, all right. Uh, and then, um, let me see, did I miss any colors? Oh yeah. Uh, did we get the white? Yeah, we got the white. Okay, and then let's grab uh, his uh, yellow eyes, which are basically the same yellow, and then we'll grab his red eyes, which are basically the same. Um, and so uh, this was his skin color. I'm actually gonna grab one from down here because it's a little uh, better looking. The lighting changes these a lot, guys. So this one is a little different. It's kind of harder to tell, but it is still the same thing. So if you can see here, um, this, this, uh, two Bonnies have the same general colors. You've got the dark red, the dark red, you've got the yellows, um, you've got the different shades of red. It's not really easy to tell with the color schemes here as it is just looking at the plushies. Um, this Bonnie has a bright white nose, which is his least, uh, used color. And then this whole Bonnie is white and yellow, which are his least used colors. And then this Bonnie has, you know, more dark, um, more dark red than, the, than this Bonnie does, and so he barely has it in his nose. Uh, the eyes are switched, one's bright, one's dark, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, um, that one is a little bit harder to tell. It's not as obvious as this one and this one. Now Chica, this one is weird, but it makes sense, I promise. So we've got 
let's do the skin colors. We got blue, like kind of a darkish blue. Well, let me grab a good one. Darkish blue. Here we've got light blue for the main skin color. Let's do the um let's do the eyes. Or actually no, I'm gonna do the edges. So if you see at the edge of her limbs on the legs and the hands, they're a little bit, they kind of turn brighter turquoise. So we'll grab that. And then if you look at this one, it already is brighter turquoise, but then it turns darker blue. So it's already reversed. Um, yeah, so now let's grab the black of the eyes. These both stayed the same. Now let's grab the inner eye of this chica. All right, yellow. Now let's grab the inner eye of this chica. It's blue. But now let's grab the feet colors. So if you look at the feet on this one, kind of dark blue, but on this one, yellow. So you have a tiny bit of yellow in this one and a lot of yellow on this one. And this one is dark blue with yellow, or with dark blue with light blue hands. This one is light blue with dark blue hands. Okay, makes sense to me. Um, you could even go as far as to say the bib. Um, the bib is yellow. Um, uh, which is not very much on this one. And then it goes over to here where there's more yellow and the bib is blue or it's uh, uh, the darker blue color, which there isn't as much of on this one. It, 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 it's very weird how they picked and choose, but they are all the same color scheme. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully I explained this in a way that makes sense. It's very weird, but what I'm trying to say is these Recolor plushies are the same color schemes as the old ones. They're just using the colors in an inverted way so that the colors that were barely used on one were used primarily on the recolor and the colors that were very prominent on the old ones are now just the highlight colors. So yes, that is my explanation for the new wave of plushies. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully I got my point across and I don't sound insane. And hopefully, um, you know, hopefully some other people already realize this and I'm just the last one to realize it because I think it makes sense. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something new. Uh, and let me know in the comments which one of these you're most excited to get. If you ask me which one I'm most excited to get, it's probably these two right here, Freddy and Bonnie, just the normal common ones. I think they're the most satisfying color schemes. Um, but yeah, I definitely appreciate these recolors a little bit more now that I understand what they are and why they're called inverted. They're not inverted across the color wheel. They're inverted within their own color schemes.